Welcome to the Phone Arena video review of the Samsung Gravity 3. The Gravity 3 is the third line of Gravity phones for T-Mobile and also accompanies the recently released Gravity Touch. The Gravity 3 is a minor refresh to the Gravity 2 which was in turn a relatively minor refresh to the Gravity. As you can see, the Gravity is a bar phone with a side sliding QWERTY keyboard. The keyboard should look familiar. It's identical in layout to what we just saw with the Gravity T. However, some of the keys have been rearranged, such as the Alt key being moved up and the dot com and shift keys being moved over. This is to accompany two smart keys that bracket the space bar, a unique design that we kind of liked after we got used to it. The slide mechanism on the Gravity 3 is good. This is something we've come to expect from Samsung, as their build quality has always been top notch, even for lower end phones. The material on this Gravity 3 could be a little bit better. However, it's not too bad for what it is. There is some texture to the back, and that gives it a little bit of a good feel. We'll find the 2 megapixel camera and the phone's single speaker back here. To the left side of the phone is the volume rocker, and over on the right we have the micro USB charging port, as well as the camera key. Removing the battery door again requires a pry, something we're seeing more and more with Samsung phones and are not especially fond of. However, this one is easier to remove than the Gravity T or the Restore was, and we don't have issues with the battery popping out. We'll find the micro SD slot under the door. You don't have to remove the battery to get it, but you do have to remove the door. It does not ship with a micro SD card, so you'll have to provide one on your own. The interface for the Gravity 3 is very similar to what we've seen before. In fact, there's really not too much different. You have the option of either the carousel menu here, or if you want to switch it up, we can go with the grid menu also. There's not much difference, except that there are nine menus, uh, nine options in the grid menu versus only six in the carousel. Everything's pretty basic here. You don't have a media player or some other niceties, but that's because you also don't have a headphone jack on the phone. We've seen this from other devices in the past, and it does support stereo Bluetooth, but the music player can only play one song at a time and this really isn't a music or multimedia device. The web is also relatively slow. It is a 3G phone, however, we weren't able to load real pages, probably due to the fact that this is just a basic browser. For us, the phone just feels uninspired. There's really nothing to say about the Gravity 3 other than that it's a side-sliding QWERTY phone. It's like many that have been in the past. It doesn't really offer any innovations, over past devices. It does have corporate email support through Exchange. However, we just don't see many people using that on a phone like this. All in all, the Gravity 3 is an okay phone. Call quality was fine. There were some issues with it, but overall we could hear and be heard just fine. The biggest thing is that this phone really doesn't offer anything. It's like every other slide sliding QWERTY device out there. It's heavy on messaging, but that's about it.